Hi guys, welcome to the Cyphility training course and today in this video I would like to show you how to work with the Cyphility basis to create uh, some web page and then display it on the website Okay, so let's get started This one is the dashboard of the Cyphility demo page and go ahead to click on the page here to create the page for the website Yes, for now, I'm going to go ahead to create some page like home, or uh, introduction, and services. This was the basic page. Home. And I left everything by default. And you see now, we use the default template is a uh, rice. Right side bar, header, footer, and click on the grid and go to the content for this page. Okay, so here this one is a editing mode for a page. On the on the left side we have the layout of the the page, which will select us to uh, for for this page. And on the right side we have some the widgets component. We need you to, uh, to to display the data for the page template. Okay, so now we have subsection the header, footer, and the main content. We have the content and the right sidebar content. Okay, so now I go ahead to add some text into this content. I go ahead to click on the on the right side. Have content here. It should be the content block. Double click, uh, click on this to edit the content. It will open an editor. So now you have to add the add the content here. Okay, I can I, I can go ahead to open the cyphinity.com and copy some content there to make it look better. Okay, I don't have to copy this one. Okay, so after that, you click on the save button to save the content for this. You can see here on the on the top we have some option for publish. What is a publish? Publish here just means when you click on this button, so it will publish the content, and the, as a user will be able to see this page and its content on the website. And when if you click on the save a drop button here. So that means the zip page and also the con it content will be saved at the draft version, and only the editor or the admin is able to see zip page and content over over the back end. And when you click on the preview button here, so it will show the preview mode. When as you see when you publish the content for the front page for client to see on the website. Okay, so we have some more action here. You are able to public and unpublic by specific date. You are able to set the date you want to be public the content. For example, when you create this page and you want tomorrow, tomorrow you have an event of your of your company. So you set the uh, uh, the date for it to public in the the the, the in, on the website. And you are able to set the unpublic date for this page. For example, when you have some promotion on the website and 
the duration is only one week so you can set the duration from today and the day of next week you, you, uh, you will unpublish this one that means the promotion the end okay so now if you save if you do the configuration is done just go ahead to click on save button here after that you will execute the uh, result check your result and when it comes to, to the date you set so it will automatically publish the content of this page and after that it will unpublish the content when you reach the date set it as well okay so now i will wrap it by default don't use this feature you click on the delete button here to uh, delete the content of this page also we have some preview mode for smartphone and tablet you go ahead to click on this one to see it there is the same feature when you are building the data on the web page in the preview button it have some uh, some mobile phone mode here iPhone 4 iPhone 5 iPhone 6 we have some simulation for you to do the demo So that means you are able to see what it looks like when you publish this page into, into the website for the user to see. Okay, so now I go ahead to click on the publish button here to publish this page and also the content to the, to the front end page and everyone can see it. Yes, I go ahead to click on the view button here to see it will direct user to the the front end page here okay so now go ahead to create some more page the interaction and the services page same template i go ahead to copy some data here Same thing using the content block to display the data on the page. Save it. Publishes. View it. Because for now we are using the child version, so uh, you will get this message sometime when you are working in the Safinity. By go ahead to click on the continue button to refresh the page for displaying the content of the introduction page. Okay, so now another page. Services. And you are able to add the image into this pet. I will show the demo for you. You can pick up the image from existing system. And if you don't have any existing image in the system, you are able to upload it by cl clicking on the upload image button here. Upload, select from the computer, color base. Upload. You can change the library, the, the, the destination folder to upload the image. In this video, I will leave it by default. Save it. Yes. And publish it. View. Yes, it's displaying the data here. And now, if I want to see the home page, so I have to type this one and see the introduction page. I have to change the link in the URL. So it will make difficult for me here. So instead of typing the URL on uh, on my browser to access the page, so I think we should have a menu bar on the top. It will display all of the 
navigation on the top when you when you want to go into the services pad you just go ahead to click on the services button or the same thing introduction and home page okay so now i will guide you how to work with this uh, basically this one is uh, when we work when we create some page here we have to create some template template which will use a uh, uh, which will hold some the uh, uh, common feature and uh, for the pet for example we have some header footer uh, and something like that is a common feature it will display it on all of the pages so now we should open the template we you, uh, open the templates we are using for three pet here and after that we uh, update it Okay, so now you open the design pet template. Yes, this one is a template uh, created by default Cyfinity. Uh, you are able to add in the custom templates by yourself and upload it here. But in this video, I, I don't talk about this and we'll talk about it later in another video. Okay, so now you scroll down. You can see here we have price, sidebar, header, footer, and we have three pages. In this side, you using this template, and go ahead to click on this to see what is the page. Yes, we have home services introduction. Okay, now close this, close this one, and you can close, click on this one, drop down here, and select the content. Here, you can see this one either we have some section like header, footer, content, and right sidebar, which we, we are using for three pet in this system. And now you want to add in some uh, navigation on the top, so you should add it into the header section. Click on the navigation here, we have navigation. Yes, and we have also adding the breadcrumb into this one. Okay. You can also add in some the information for footer here. Okay, so I go ahead to add in some content block here. Just add in some data for the. Um, Copy right by yes. Okay, something like that. Go ahead to click on the publish button here to save the change for this template. Okay, and now come back to the live side. Yes, you can see here for now we have a on the header, we have some navigation with displaying on the lid of the pet. It should be the home, introduction, and services. And on the bottom, we have the copyright information. This is the footer information when, display, when displaying on, on the pet. And here, this one is a navi, uh, this one is a breadcrumb. Okay, so now go ahead to click on the introduction page here, uh, link. It will open the content of introduction page here. You can see we still have the navigation, the footer, and also breadcrumb displaying on this page. If you, you want to go back in, uh, to the home page, you are able to click on the home hyperlink here under the breadcrumb. Yes. Clicking on the service sheet here, it will open the content of service sheet pad. And the same thing, you are able to click on the home under here in the breadcrumb to go back into the home page. And you can see here on the right hand, we have a pencil icon here. Click on this, and you are able to edit things, the content in line on this page. So, Instead of open the the the, the page, 
via the back end Cyfinity UI when you are look uh, when you are access into the page with the admin or the editor uh, previously so you are able to edit the content for for, for this page when you are view, using when you are viewing it on the front page by clicking on the edit button content here it will open the edit mode and you just go ahead to click on somewhere you want to be edit okay I will change it the website content and you are able to save it at a draft version or also click on the public or to publish the new chain for the, the, the user to see you are able to, if you don't want to uh, update anything on this page so just go ahead to click on the exit editing mode here okay so now I will try to publish all here yeah you can see now the the first paragraph change it to the website content previously it is the web content yeah okay so I think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to uh, work with the cycle uh, Cyfinity CMS uh, you know how to create the basis on um, uh, over the Cyfinity and how to create the content by using some widgets from the from the Cyfinity or component and after that you know how to enter the content for the page uh, like like the text text content and also the images or something like that you also know how to create the navigation and also breadcrumb to uh, display it on the website to the to make the look and feel on the web page uh, look good and make uh, and helpful for the user to navigate between the basis okay so i hope that video will have food for you and let me know if you see any issue bye bye and see you later